Good morning. Uh, so continuing with uh, Snippet Pixie next development today. Um, I think um, I need to make a couple of little adjustments, a couple of little refactorings before I move on to the next swathe of uh, changes. Um, there's a couple of things that are bugging me. Um, so uh, We've been working through the command line interface, creating all these different things that we can do. Um, so we can ping and get the status and add and remove um, snippets. And it's all communicating with the Dbus um, server. Um, but some of these things are getting a little bit um, big, some of these files. So we have a package in snippet called snippet um, and it has quite a large file um, it's over 400 um, lines but the biggest problem with it is that it covers um, multiple responsibilities so it's doing settings stuff um, and snippet stuff and the management of both, as well as defining the snippet structure. Um, and it's all in one file. I don't know whether it's a particularly, I don't think it's much of a problem that's in the same package, but it's getting a bit harder to find things um, if you're just like scrolling and so on. So I think I need to kind of split it up. Um, and I think today that's kind of what I feel like doing. So I believe I can do that just by refactoring stuff out um, and still remain and keeping them in the snippet package. Um, and there's a possibility that I might actually rename the snippet package as well to snippets. Um, as I've gone along, I felt that having that clash between snippet and the usage of snippet um, is a little difficult because you keep clashing on um, namespace problems there. So if I have, say, a snippets package which has a snippet, it's easier for having variables called a snippet and so on. There's going to be a couple of cases where it's going to be, I have a list of snippets, um, and so we'll get clashes there. Um, I have to work around that. Um, maybe just call it records or whatever in that case. Um, but uh, first, to first thing I want to do is I want to move out this manager stuff. So from here, so I'll mark that. I guess I could take all the database stuff that goes with it as well. There's lots of database stuff here. More database stuff. Right, and there's add settings, which could go in its own, I think. So I'm going to mark that here. So, I think what I'll do is I'll delete that mark and then I'll create a new file and I'll just call that manager, I guess. I'll add it. this stuff in. So what have we got? Huh, it's still showing all the stuff from 
the other file. Okay. But at least here I've got just the management stuff here. Database kind of stuff. Which is fine. Now along with that I should have some tests. So off we go. Well, let's take a copy this time because I want to grab Well, let's see if I can do this first. Create a new test file. Manager test. And I'll just paste that in for the moment. And then here, want test manager, test manager, all the schema stuff, new schema, in its schema, down to there. So we don't want the test add snippet. I'll paste it here. So we've got all the manager test stuff there. What was that folding? I don't want that to fold. Let's turn off folding. No. 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 Okay. All right. So that's manager, I believe. Okay. So And we've still got test uh, settings and stuff in here as well. There's not many of them, but they shouldn't really be in here. I'll just grab them, take them out. And then we'll create a setting file, I think. Okay. Now, I don't think I have any tests for settings yet. So well, that's good. I suppose that's a good thing about separating out. Now I can see that I haven't got a test file for it. Um, so in here, These are all manager related though, so, but I guess that's okay. They all need manager. Uh, 
uh, so that's all right. That's everything related to snippets. And then in here, got a snippet. Uh, snippet, get snippet, get snippet ending, get snippets, update snippet, and remove snippet. Okay, so uh, that means, I think, in theory, Should be able to test that. Um, kill that off, actually. Okay, a bit bigger now. So I should be able to just do make test. This should still all pass. If we do make test for both, what do I see? Still see them come in together. I guess that's fine. But everything passes. But what's nice is I've now got much smaller files, so that's only 176 for reels. Quite easier to work with. Okay, we will commit that. Uh, split. Factor. and set in uh, thoughts I do within snippet package, I'll do. Okay. So I guess now the question is, do I rename this package? Is it really that big a deal to me? Am I just, is it gonna cause problems? Where do I use snippets? So I use quite a few. So I mean that instance there, snippet dot manager could be snippets manager. That might make a bit more sense. Uh, 
snippet, snippet, or snippet, snippet. Again, snippets new manager. I mean, that could. Could be a package of its own, but. I wonder if I wonder if there's um sort of guidelines for Golang na package naming whether they should be singular or plural. Let's have a look. Um, Golang. Package naming convention. Okay. Go on, Sprite. Okay. Effective code provides guidelines. I'll look at that in a sec. Well, maybe. It's good now. Right. Okay, that's interesting. So here they're saying, so you know, at the moment I've got new manager. If I were to have a manager package, the constructor would actually just be called new by convention. So you could have manager.new. I don't think it says anything about plural or singular here, just short names.
I mean, the bytes is plural. And by convention, packages are given lowercase single word names. There should be no need for underscores or mixed caps. Err on the side of brevity, since everyone using the package will be typing that name. And don't worry about collisions. I have to think about that. Um, it would be nice to break out the manager into its own package, but then But then I think that gets a little bit tricky. With the interface, isn't it? Is that right? Well, I suppose the deeper service is okay. Struct. In the interface. So in manager, yeah, because we're in the same package, we can extend manager. I don't think I can do that if I break it out into a separate into separate packages for snippet. Which I guess is fine. Kind of makes me think that maybe the package should have been called manager. And it's managing snippets and managing settings. And there's no reason then that I couldn't have a separate package, which is for snippet, which holds Basically, just the type. <coughs> Excuse me. That would be potentially useful. Because then you'd have managed settings 
manage snippets. A completely separate package just for defining what a snippet is. And maybe some utility functions on it, such as creating an ID using the same format every time, I UUID version 4. Because that's what we really should do. Like here we have a new manager. We should really have a constructor for snippets as well. Because at the moment we're doing uh, add snippet. Hmm. Whereas really, you want this UID and default last used to just happen automatically when you create a new snippet. And then you pluck out the values for the insert. And then on the migration stuff, We get the validation of using a constructor for the snippet and then passing its pieces in here. Hmm. But would that be useful anywhere else, really? Would the CLI benefit from a snippet package? Hmm, I have to think about that. Maybe. I don't think there's anything stopping me from splitting manager out. Into a manager package. Renaming all the things. OK. 
keeping a snippet package which just basically has the definition of a snippet. But do I need it? Hmm. I have to think about that. Uh, anyway, but I haven't got time to really get cracking on that. Um, stuff to do. Uh, so that was just a little shorty today. A um, bit of thinking, I think. To be done. Right. Um, yep. Yeah. So uh, until next time, uh, thank you for watching um, and you take care. Bye.